the plot function is a very general way to generate two-dimensional plots. In fact, there are two main categories of plots that you can generate. The format of the argument that you pass in is you pass, pass in the vector that represents the dependent variable first, then a tilde, then the independent variable, or if you want to think of them as y and x, y tilde x. The type of plot that's generated depends on the nature of x. If x is categories or some other kind of discontinuous factor, then it generates a, a box and whisker plot where the categories are on the x-axis and the values are on the y-axis. If x is a continuous variable, in other words, if it's numbers just like y, then you'll end up with an xy scatter plot. In both of these kind of plots, y, the dependent variable, has to be continuous numbers. Let's go ahead and try this out in an example that has discontinuous data. So if we look at the human data, we can see that the one column groups the heights into two categories, the heights that are heights of men and the heights that are heights of women. Um, it turns out that because I used read.csv to read the data in, it's going to read that column called grouping in as a factor. And this is a uh, form of data, which I said we wouldn't really get into, but basically it's a cat, it turns them into categories. So if my X value that I pass in is a grouping factors, then it's going to be discontinuous data and it'll make it generate a box and whisker plot. And then the white, the height data, which is a bunch of numbers will be the value on the y-axis. So here I can see what this looks like. The, uh, it's a little bit scrunched down. This looks a little bit better. Um, so this is typical for a box and whisker plot. It shows me where the means are of the men and women's heights. And then it has 95% confidence interval error bars to help us figure out whether these means are significantly different from each other.